Hi, Brittany. I'm from the Sunday Times in London. Hi. We all know what a great singer you are, but can you tell us of a hidden talent that you haven't revealed to the world yet? A hidden talent? Mm. Well, I play basketball, so maybe that's a hidden talent. When I was in high school in the ninth grade, I was the point guard on the basketball team, so maybe that's one people don't know about. <laughs> Hello. Uh, do you hear me? Yes. Hello, Brittany. 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 Where are you at? I'm here. I'm Joe. Huh? I don't know. I think we've got two. It's a little speaking. confusing. <laughs> Hi. Hello. I'm Johan from the biggest daily Swedish newspaper, Aftonbladet. Mm -hmm. I would like first to say congratulations. Whoops! Went down to, to the first place in the Swedish charts. Oh. Didn't you know that? Actually, they just told me that earlier. So, so. happy? I'm very happy. Oh my goodness. Yes. Sweden loves you. Thank you, I hope so. <laughs> That's nice to know, thank you. I'm Lukurgos from Disney Club Greece, Hi. and uh, you have a very huge crowd uh, loving you in Greece. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's very nice, congratulations. Thank you so and, much. And uh, I would like to ask uh, something from your lyrics. Uh, we have the song, Be and, uh, I was born to make you happy, where we can hear you saying that, uh, I don't know how to live without your love, I was born to make you happy. Now we have, oops, I did it again, I played with your heart. Which lyrics do you think best describe yourself? Thank you. Um, actually, probably Born to Make You Happy. You know what? Oops, I did it again. I love singing this song, but the words lyrically, I can't really relate to at all because it's talking about a girl and all these guys are falling for her and she's breaking their hearts. And when I fall for a guy, it's the other way around. <laughs> he usually ends up breaking my heart. But it's a fun song to sing. You know, I'm a performer and that's part of what I do, you know. Hi Brittany, I'm Daphne from the Music Factory in Holland. Um, I would like to ask you, do you have, uh, did you have more influence in making the second album and in what way did that influence? Yeah, that's another reason yeah. why it's really, really special to me because I've had a lot more involvement with this album. Um, I wrote one of the songs on the album, it's called Dear Diary. And, um, and it's just really kind of hard sometimes because you work, I am 18 and you work with the most amazing producers in the world and it's kind of intimidating to say, How's my material, you know? But I've been writing a lot, and hopefully in the future I'll have an album with all of my songs on it. So. Okay, thank you. I'll just make the most of this pause. We're nearly at the end already, so if we can just have the last question or questions. Hi, I'm Luciana from Brazil, Capricho magazine, and I have two questions for your uh, from your fans in Brazil. Okay. I hope they are not embarrassing. <laughs> first, the first is if you are really, if Justin is really your boyfriend, because um, all of your fans have seen the photos, you know. And the second one is um, they want to know um, how do you charm a boy to go out with him? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, um, me and Justin, we're not boyfriend and girlfriend. He's a really close friend of mine, but we're not boyfriend and girlfriend. And really, to charm a guy, um, I really, I'm not really good at stuff like that. You know what? I would just say be yourself. And if they like that, you know, that's all you can do is just be yourself. And they should like that enough, you know? Hi, Brittany. It's me again. Sorry. Um, yes, in the back. I'm really in the back. Oh, hi. <laughs> Uh, in Holland, there are these rumors going on that you want to get rid of your sexy image. Is that true? Um, no. No? Okay, thank you. Hello, Brittany. Thank you for sharing some time with us. Thank you for having me. I want to start with this. Last year, you won an award at TMF for uh, Best Newcomer. And this year, I have a little surprise for you. You won the award for, there it is, Best oh Female my Artist. Oh, my gosh. Thank voted by our viewers. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. This is such an honor. Thank you so much. It's such a big change from uh, Best Newcomer to Best Female Artist. And it's only been a year. Could you tell us a little bit how that year went for you? This year has been so amazing for me, and especially last year. I mean, I've experienced so many wonderful adventures, and so many thing, wonderful things have happened to me. I feel so incredibly blessed. So, so um, last night I heard you talking at a press conference, and I thought you 
always had the right answers to the questions. And I was thinking, how do you prepare yourself talking to the press? Really? <laughs> I'm so used to it, you know what I mean? I'm, I just go out there and just be myself, you know what I mean? And just, you know, try and be myself and hope everything that I say comes out right. <laughs> There's uh, somebody who, who teaches you how to react on certain questions or not to respond on some others? No. <laughs> no. no. Do you never write something back that you said in an interview and that you think, oh my God, how could I come up with that? Yeah, sometimes I do that. I'm like, what was I thinking when I said that? Of course. I make mistakes all the time. Okay. There are some rumors about you going on, about your breast, about your relationship with Justin from Unsync, about not wanting to be sexy anymore. Which of all those rumors bothers you the most? Out of all those rumors, all of them generally kind of bother me, you know what I mean? But um, I've just had to say, you know, that's just something that you have to accept about what I do. You know what I mean? That's going to happen. You know, people are going to talk about me no matter what, you know, because just I'm out in the public eye all the time, you know, so... I've just learned, Brittany, there's going to be people that like you and people that don't. And the people that don't like you, they're going to make up stuff about you. So, There's not something in particular that, you, that, you, that bothers you the most? You know, all of them at first, they really kind of bothered me. But now, it's just kind of a joke. <laughs> I just kind of laugh it off, you know. That's all you can do, you know. Is there a room that you like? Is there a room that you think, oh, that is a funny one. I love that one. Um, probably the one about me and Prince William. It's kind of funny. Oh, yes, there is one. Who doesn't want to be a princess? <laughs> so. But you have never dated Prince William? No, no. How long did you work on the album? All together it took like six months. Yeah. Was there something in particular you focused on while working on this album? Um, really just, you know, getting better in the studio, really. And I think it helped a lot with me performing so much, being on tour before I went and recorded the album, that I was more confident in the studio. And I think it comes across when you hear the album. But really there's always room for improvement, when, you know, musically. When I, whenever you're doing anything and just creatively just to really let go in the studio and give it your all was my main focus in the studio. Okay. So um, the new album, how would you think it's, because you have grown in this year, how do you see that back on your album? Um, really all the songs lyrically are just talking about being happy with yourself and being a stronger person and you know it, no matter what people say about you it doesn't matter as long as you're happy with yourself that's all that matters and that's basically basically what it's saying in the album you know I can totally relate to that and that's how I think I've grown I've grown into that you know okay so the world tour is coming up how are you going to prepare yourself for that one well, I have four weeks to have rehearsal before the world tour I'm really really excited about it I have a, an amazing director coming in to help me with the tour and um I'm really excited. I can't wait, you know. Do you have a certain diet or do you like work out every night to get in a no. good shape? Or? No, my my show and my rehearsals is going to be a workout in itself. Like I'd totally be overdoing it if I worked out too. So I saw you dancing last night and it looked so great. And me, I tried to dance one time and I was kind of the clown of the group because I did everything wrong. So I was wondering, there must be something. There must be some movement that you just get couldn't get right was there one um yeah there's a lot of times like you know if I can't get a move I'll just be like let's not do that or not that I don't I can't get it or just it doesn't look right on me you know I look awkward doing it and so that's just when I speak up and I'm like let's not do that and there's there there are some like complicated moves like the moonwalk I can't do that you know there's some things that I can't do of course was there one that was difficult but you are able to do now um, usually all of them just came kind of naturally to me. They weren't really that difficult for me. So yesterday I heard one of your idols was Madonna. Well, the thing about her is that she's constantly uh, renewing her music and her style. How do you see that for yourself in the future? 
Um, who knows, you know what I mean? I am who I am now, and there's no telling what I'll be, you know, five years from now, you know? So as I change as a person, I'll just change as an artist as well, and who knows what that will be like, you know? Are there, uh, is there a specific uh, music side in you that you want to develop? Like, could we ever expect a rock song from you? No, I think I'll probably tend to stay in pop music, but I'll definitely love to write in the future, have an album where I'll write most of the material, you know, that's my goal. Because you wrote one song on the album. Which song is that? It's called Dear Diary. And where is it about? It's about a girl who likes a guy, but she doesn't know how to approach him, so she comes in every night and she writes about it in her journal. So that's basically what it's talking about. Is it about you or is it about just I've someone? I've experienced that situation before, yeah. yeah. Was that strange to sing your own song on the album? How is it to sing that on stage? It's very cool because, you know, that came from your heart. It came from you. So it means a lot more. It's very special. Okay, when you're going on World Tour, because you will be visiting Holland too, in October, I think. Um, are there any uh, things that you really want in your um, dressing room? Because you're a star now, so you have the opportunity <laughs> to ask for more things like only blue M&Ms or whatever. No, I don't do that. Usually I like a um, sandwich tray and a vegetable tray and maybe some Captain Crunch cereal and apple juices and water. That's usually what I get. And sometimes, like, you know, Snickers bar or some candy chocolate to give me some energy. Okay. So um, I can imagine, of course, having fans is great, but I can imagine that there are some annoying fans. Do you, did you ever experience that? Some what? Annoying fans, like fans who approach you all the time and... Well, there was one time where... Um, I had a show, and it was the end of the show where I like walk around the stage or whatever, and um, this fan came up, and they took their shirt off, and they started running up to me. I was like, oh, what are you doing? Please get off the stage. And I think the audience thought it was supposed to happen or something, <laughs> but my dancer TJ, he got up, and he was like, what are you doing? And then um, my security came on and took him off. So okay. that was the, probably the most bizarre thing that's ever happened. Did you ever go uh, on the street in disguise? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. And then you look like what? So they know. <laughs> I want to, I have this really dark wig that I wear sometimes and some glasses that I usually wear. It's kind of funny. <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, thank you very much for the interview. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oops. This is the music factory.